which characters survive or don't is in your hands. Face your trauma together and join millions of fans <laughs> live to shape the canon. <laughs> Face your trauma together. I can't breathe. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> oh. Rachel? No. <laughs> your sister. Joy. She's dead. Your wife? No, no, uh, that your sister. I'm genu genuinely like at a bit of a loss for words. That was so bad. And so funny. <laughs> Look at these choices. Wait, can I create a character? Zero wards available. Okay, where's my character? Oh my god. Why does she look kind of like her head is too small for her body? Does anyone else see that? Uh, this is the worst character creator I've ever seen in my life. Um, this is appallingly bad. Oh, you don't see anything. Uh, apologies, uh, camera. There we go. Uh, this is what I created. And just to take it through there, uh, here's here's the here's the four hairstyles that any human can have. Uh, your ex this should just say glasses. Um, there's your shirt shirt options. Yep. Um, oh, we can wear a jacket. It's a very cardigany cardigany game, isn't it? Um. Uh. Yeah. This is appalling. Um, oh, and you can look. Okay, let's go back and look at the moments from episode one. Okay. How will Carl react to Astrid keeping Orson from him? Uh, beg for forgiveness, demands an apology, call her bluff. Man. People picking, like, not fun options here. These are all, these are all wiener answers, chat. Okay, whatever. You know what? Whatever. Oh, this is season pass. Uh, buy 23 euro? Oh my god. You can get, like, several good games for that. Oh, you know what? Actually, chat, one game I did play uh, this week that I thought was really cool was Gunbrella. Um, if anyone's played that, seems really sick. Seems like a fucking crazy combination of like um, Celeste and like a shooter, running gun shooter. It's it's cool. Um, wow. Okay. Um, episodes. Let's go. Episode two. Blight. Okay, chat. We ready? Here we go. Okay, I would love them to do a previously on because I have no idea what you would actually say happened in that episode. Uh, the woman died. Um, the other woman died. The, the angry woman. The scared woman and the angry woman. They both died. Um... Morphine. Yeah, I, I don't know how to even quantify what it was. Anyway, okay, let's go. Oh, the kid bit someone. Subject 1VX A1. Culture looks healthy. Closely watching the calcium buildup. But for the next trial... Papa, what are... What are you doing here? I went to your place. I thought I was picking Orson up to take him to school. But he wasn't there. I was waiting there, scared to death. I took him to school. I told you. I don't want you around him right now. I should have known. Haugen told me you gave her the syringe. You really think I could do something so horrible? Was Mama such a terrible person that she deserved to be murdered? Who will watch him while you're working? Like, they are talking about the most fucked up thing imaginable. 
and they're doing it in like the most monotone voices. I'll figure something out, but it won't involve you. I'm sorry you got roped into this. I'm sorry about a lot of things. I'm asking for forgiveness here, I'm begging for it. Please, Astrid, can we just move on? I'm not Mama. I'm not looking for you to grovel. I need you to do better as a grandfather than you did as a father. But <laughs> I need you to do better as a grandfather. Uh, primarily among that, I need you to cut out the murder. None, none of that now. It's too late for that. I don't want you around my son, and that's final. Compromise, less murder. Maybe just a bit of murder. Can I get another drink? No! You look like hell. You, uh, need someone to talk to? I'm not interested in joining your fucking cult. Hey. Okay, this woman looks like the other guy, the character creator, except it just, except they just, like, in, they just switched the gender slider. Relax. I'm not with them. Haven't set foot there in years. I'm just talking. Something bad happened in there with my sister. <sighs> Sounds about right. They start as a support group, tell you what you need to hear, but then they make you need them. And when my partner died at the steel mill, they used my grief to rope me in. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> oh, I. Th this has some of the most beautiful exposition I've ever heard. With my sister. <sighs> Sounds about right. They start as a support group, tell you what you need to hear, but then they make you need them. And when my partner died at the steel mill, they used my grief to rope me in. Assholes. What a Sorry. beautiful... About your partner. Yeah, well, you should stay as far away from the Foundation as you can. I can't. What are you going to do? Still figuring that out. Well, you didn't hear this from me. But I've got some family who I've been helping lead the Foundation. They don't know much. But they say something big's going down this week. My friend Eric's a member. He might know more about it, but... He won't talk. His Foundation-loving wife's got him by the balls. Sounds to me like he's soft. A few strong words, and he'd open right up. That is I'm not definitely sure I how want to piss speak. off the only friend I got left. You could always play the heartstrings. You mean beg? Like some kind of pathetic asshole? <laughs> well, when you put it that way, you could always lie to him, trick him into telling you. Like this, I said, this this whole scene is incredible in how this dialogue is like falling out of the characters' mouths and barely connecting with what the other person says. Sounds like he's soft. I gotta hit the head. Into telling you. Like I said, sounds like he's soft. I gotta hit the head. What? I gotta... hit the... head? So chat like that the expression is I'm gonna I gotta hit the hay right hit the head doesn't mean anything Hello May, are you in the women's Joy? bathroom? Joy? 
I love how he goes into a bathroom and hears someone vomiting and is immediately like, my dead sister. Oh, what a cool bar. I would drink there. Another double? Just leave me the bottle, Leo. I can't do that in good conscience, friend. What's happened now? Leo seems rad. It's Astrid. She... She thinks I killed her mother. Ice bars How are could fun. You think that? Uh, Prism Zell, is that actually police. a thing? Like, seriously, is, is that actually and now, Haugen's threatening a thing? to charge me with murder. Murder, Leo. I just know Haugen won't leave us alone until she's charged me with murder. Maybe you do need this. The thing is, I think someone else did it. Who? Yeah, there are legit ice bars around. Know. That's cool. There was someone... Something... On the farm that night. Have you told Hogan this? Ah, she'd think I was crazy. Yeah, a couple of Carl, places have happened. Is that a Norway thing? Immediately. Interesting. If you don't do it, I will. I've got a friend down at the station, and... I don't think I should make more trouble. Any more than you're already in. I just wish it... So, he, so the police think he murdered his wife, and he thinks someone else did it, and he's like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to rattle any cages here. Things are already feeling a bit turbulent, and I just don't want to cause more trouble for people. Ingrid was here. She didn't know what to do. She'd tell you to listen to your friend. Ah, take it. It's good scotch. It deserves to be savored, not wasted on a wreck like me. Don't let that Hogan intimidate you. Just tell her the truth, and you'll be fine. I don't know that he will. Oh boy. Hello? This should be good. Do the ritual as soon as possible. It's getting worse. Who's she gonna pick? Who's she gonna pick? Have you decided who will be helping you perform the ritual? It's your three options. I want Krista to do it. What? Yes! I want you to perform the ritual on me. Rachel, I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but are you okay? <laughs> yeah, we don't agree on much, but maybe that's what we need. Sometimes a little friction can be a good thing. Okay. Yeah, my Fine. thoughts exactly. Okay. Now, if that's all, I'd like to speak to Rachel alone. Rachel, during our investigation into Joy's death, you seemed uncertain of things. A lot of that going around. Well, between Joy and the visions, I... Don't be. I spoke with Xavier. He told me your story. You've overcome a lot. You can stop all of this. You are special. I just need you to believe it. Good girl. Now then, tell me more about your daughter. The house is so quiet without Orson here. You really were serious about keeping him away from me. Yes. And it will remain that way until... You're sure I'm innocent. Have you thought about what you're going to tell Detective Hogan about... what happened to Mama? I'm sure you have an opinion. I think you know what I'm going to say. You want me to confess to a crime I didn't commit? I want you to tell the truth. <sighs> These two are so to weird. Told her what happened. Is she coming back home? I begged her, but she's still so angry. 
I think it would mean a lot if you reached out. So is this this is a character we haven't heard of before, right? She hates me almost as much as she hated Mama. It just makes me angry, you know. Her mother is dead, and her own father has to beg her to come home. Maybe I'll call just to give her a piece of my mind. Please don't do that. Or no, this is the this is the marionette girl. I just wish she hadn't left us when she did. But I get why she did it. Maybe tell her that. She would appreciate it. I don't know. She'd probably think I was patronizing her. Try. For me. And your mother. Who I murdered. I just want to see your sisters close again. You'll regret it if you don't. Like, they're directing it like something spooky's happened, but nothing spooky's happened. They just, they just talked on a couch. Eric. You here? Washing machine. Toby, what you Toby, what are you doing here? I, I wanted to talk to you. About what? I need your help. Yeah, sure. I heard there was some kind of meeting at the foundation. You know I can't talk about that stuff with you. Please, I think it has something to do with joy. I don't know, man. Rachel's not good. What do we have to do? Beg? Look, man, I'm not in a good place right now. And you're the only friend I got left. So just please help me out here. <sighs> okay. Okay. But you gotta get some help, man. Rachel's not gonna want me hanging out with you anymore. There's this ritual they're asking Rachel to prepare for. What kind of ritual? They don't tell me much. What camera work? What I actually it? feel like the 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 people doing the camera shoot Thanks. are working overtime Wait, to make it do? feel like anything, Tommy. and Tommy. they don't have a lot to work with. Like that's cool. That's a fucking cool camera shot, but they're trying, you know. Rachel, the foundation, this never-ending goddamn fog. Do you know? One thing I kind of do like about it is, like, there is a genuine, like, oppressive, lonely feel, like, an atmosphere to it. Because, like, there are no other incidental characters, probably because they didn't have the money or time to make them. But, like, I do kind of like it when two characters are on screen, it literally feels like nothing else in the world exists. And it's kind of silly, but it's, it's kind of cool as well. Boy. seen this before <gasps> remember no 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 you were too drunk to even help me. oh my what god answers justice blood it should come to no surprise that we found puncture marks on your wife's body <laughs> It was the monster. He the did it. He had some kind of medical degree and equipment. I spoke with Ingrid's doctor. She was never prescribed morphine. How did you get it, Carl? Did you steal it from the hospital? Your daughter's lab? There was someone. 
or something in the house that night. I could see them through the bedroom window with Ingrid. They were... These fairy tales again, Carl. I don't know what I saw. I didn't want you to think I was crazy. I don't think you're crazy. I think you're lying. And the only people who... Sorry to interrupt, but you need to see this. Are you sure? Yes. We checked twice. Hey, Mr. Johansson, you are free to go. How? I... Your wife died of complications from her illness. We have no cause to hold you. What? You're free to go? For now. I don't... I'm not sure that's how the law works. Hello? Hey, it's Astrid. Hi. Um, I, um, I had to go buy 10 pounds of potatoes. When I left, we were I'm hitting the head. About, um, uh, what did I miss? I have no... F g dude, genuinely, I, heard you I have no Papa. fucking idea. I couldn't Papa, tell you if I wanted to. Brit? Yeah. Papa told me what happened. I'm sorry. Orson. Stay where mommy can see. How's Papa doing? Not good. He just kept talking about how it wasn't his fault. So, just a regular day? I kind of like the I look the of this scene. That child anyway, is horrifying. There's something I about this that looks like a PS2 cutscene, and I love it. I know it. you said. I'm not coming. I told Papa so I wouldn't have to tell you. I understand. You do? Mama was terrible to you. I don't hold it against you for escaping while you could. Escape? Like how I tried to drown myself in boosts and pills to forget everything? Like how I still want to reach for a bottle, even at three months sober? I, I don't think three months I sober is, is that long. Like, I don't think the cravings Rich. are going to be gone by then. Damn it! At least not according to Matthew Perry's autobiography, which I read and is really good. People should read it. Orson! Poor man. Very sad life. Orson! Whoa. Orson? This is kind of rad. This is kind of cool. What the hell is happening? Orson? Orson! Please show a monster like slam dunking her kid. Like she turns a corner and there's a monster and he has her kid and he just fucking jumps up and like 360 slams it into into a basket. That'd be so cool. You 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 killed him. Better it than us. Uh, what? Where are we? Silent Hill. Say Silent Have Hill. Have you seen a little Say boy? <laughs> I've seen lots of things. Maybe one of them was a boy. Maybe what the f- Nothing's as it seems here. What is that? I have seen lots of things. Maybe one of them was a boy. That's Orson's. Maybe he knows where my son is. How do you even know they're human? Here, take this. I- I don't like weapons. You'll need it. What? Am I supposed to club him over the head? What if he knows where my son is? You can go right up and ask for all I care. But I'd bring that if I were you. Oh my god, the level Wait. of surreal fever dream shit. Are you coming home then? Not while my condescending asshole of a sister is there. Telling me how she gets me. She's just trying to reach out to you. Where was that when I was in rehab, Papa? What is happening? No one Look, can... Maybe you can no one can answer that question. After things have calmed down. Papa? Are you there? Y yeah. I'll... I'll call you later. Eva? You should see this. <laughs> oh, oh. 
What is that? I think something fed here. Hmm. There's something out there. In the woods. Did you see something, Eva? You've seen it too. Where did you get that gun? I thought I should protect myself. I was hoping you'd show me how to use it. Your mother would kill me if she found out. I should take it away from you. She hasn't seen what we've seen. <sighs> I'll think on it. I said I think on it. Okay, so the cult storyline and the Norway storyline. There's no overlap between them, right? She is a mimic, no doubt. She creepy. I think... I think she might... That might just be her character model. Or is there? Maybe. Not yet. Who knows? Okay. Now go on home. They're all just withering together. Pop-Tart Kitty. We are here to bear witness Finally, to the ritual. God damn. Rachel, who has come to spill her blood, not just for those gathered here, but for the sake of all in this town. The withering ends tonight. Now, do you have anything to say before we begin? I... I still don't know why Joy died. Oh, uh, you and me both, buddy. My lack of faith have put us all at risk. So tonight, I submit myself to the purifier's cleansing judgment. Are you ready to begin? Yes. You know what happens if the purifier judges you unfavorably? What happens? What happens? I do. <gasps> then who have you chosen to perform the ritual? I ask my fellow acolyte, Krista. Oh, I can't wait for this. Chris is such a cutie. I hoped it would be me. <gasps> Krista, no! Yikes. It's because we're bangs, John. No comment. No gut. No comment. Uh. You fucking murderers! <laughs> <laughs> Toby, what are you doing? Toby! Buddy! No, let's hear Toby out. What the fuck is this? Xavier? What's happening? Eric? Eric? What is that? Judgment. <sighs> she looks kind of like the girl from American Horror Story, the star of the newest season. That ghost can teleport. <gasps> hey, are you okay? What? This is quickly I... becoming like just completely nonsensical. Is this your son? He says you're his mother. Why do multiple people have by the docks that orange hair? Ago. Is she the same person from the bar? He was just here. You didn't even know he was missing? There was a man in the fog. You're a Johansson, aren't you? I nearly I love how this looks. Family. I called child services. Wait, what? <laughs> you were gone a while. Mama, are you mad at me? 
It was just a game. No, Angel. I'm not mad. Anyway, I'm sure they'll contact you. You can pay to have your Give creative your character in this episode. History. Oh, okay. I suggest you tell them what they need to hear. I lost my ball. That's okay, Angel. I'll get you a new one. Are they gonna come take me <laughs> the, away? That child is no, 30 sweetheart. years old. I will never let that happen. Now that's a child. That voice actor is a legit child. Oh god. I... I don't know. It's, it is actually, in fairness, a pretty spooky monster design. Rachel! Rachel! Are you okay? You were screaming. Did... did you see it? No, baby. I didn't see anything. Toby, oh you almost killed us, man. Oh my God. You have no idea what happened here. What was Toby's plan? <laughs> like, I, was I knew that, that it? Some fucked up shit was happening in here. But <sighs> I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna throw some fire and just, well, I'll improvise from there. Summoning monsters and shit. I'm not gonna be quiet about it. No one will believe you. We'll see about that. Make sure he leaves the property. <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm very convincing when it comes to Toby, monsters. He saw it too. We all did. It's spreading. I warned you about her, Xavier. I knew this would happen. Krista. Are you really still defending her? After everything we just... Enough. Rachel was right. Clearly, we've missed something. Radcliffe's teachings are clear. Yet we cannot deny what we've seen tonight. Go home. Get what rest you can. But Barbara, we, we will stop this. Don't tell me to calm down. You all saw that thing too. And let's not forget that lunatic who fucking fireballed What us. happened to frame rate? That's enough. The withering has spread to us. The blight has to be stopped. And what about Rachel? Is she blighted now too? Rachel has been chosen by the purifier. She- <laughs> I don't believe this. It, this is a 3.3 on IMDb. I mean, until then we must remain I get united, it. vigilant. And what about Toby? Whether we like it or not, he's in this now too. Toby will continue to complicate things. He should be dealt with first, kept on a tight leash. He and Eric are friends. I can get him to talk to Toby, get him to back down and lay low. Good. Use their friendship to get him to see reason. No. Frame rate is lost to the other world. He's captive to his emotions. We need to keep him calm. Humor him. <laughs> Am I the only one who was paying attention? Toby thinks we summoned a monster. That we can control it. We can use that. <sighs> I'll talk to Eric. Beer. You really messed up this time. <gasps> oh no, the dead sister. You're for that, Sorelli. It's not my fault. You, you didn't see it. There was a ghost. <gasps> Always running. Ima imagine you were like working a retail job and someone dropped something and you were like, ah, oh, mate, you're paying for that. And they just turn around and they're like, but the, the, the ghost. Always numbing. You can't keep running, Toby. It's your fault. All of it. That Me. looks. This. Okay. Now, now we're back it's to this not looking. My fault. Hey, do I gotta call the cops? I'm sure they'd love to get the call. Finally, put you away after that shit you pulled at the mill. Yeah. You think I forgot about that? You think this town's forgotten? Look, I'm trying. I'm to guessing make it that's right. another creative. You want to make things right? Make peace with your past. You start by taking responsibility. Apologize to the people you hurt. Apologize? They should be saying sorry to me. Anything goes wrong in this town. It's always Toby fucking Sorelli. 
Even when I'm doing something right, it's wrong. You think what you did at the mill was right? I'm done being this town's whipping boy. I'll make peace with my past. I may have set fire to the mill. Telling it to fuck off. But I'm telling this town to fuck off. You know, chat, I think I think I like Toby. I think Toby's a he's like us. He's a gamer. Is that their grave? I found another one of those piles. Felt like I should give it a proper burial. What do you think did this? I found a dead rabbit once. It was gutted head to toe. I didn't even recognize it, just matted fur. I kind of love her performance. I think she's awesome. So I scooped it up. Took it home to study. Mama was very angry with me. Maybe what killed that rabbit did <laughs> Oh this great. Thing. Grandpa has to bury more the bodies. People around here don't like my family very much. <laughs> this wouldn't be the first time we've been harassed. Very good. Thymbrasus. Why are they angry with you? It's getting dark. You should go home. I don't think it's safe out here. So you'll teach me to shoot? I haven't decided. But you said it's not safe. It... It kind of nearly sounded like she said, teach me to shit. And... It, it's kind of funny. Eva, I... <laughs> Oh, it's the trauma dog. He's back. And this time he's sad about, um, uh, abandonment. Eva, no. Man, all that fucking money I've wasted on therapy and I could go just home, do that. But I said go home. Eat your garbage moons. <laughs> Toby. Man, Toby's dead Toby. sister really has it out for him. What do you want from me? Answers. Justice. Blood. I tried that, remember? Look, I'm sorry. So, wait. For everything. Toby firebombed the cult because that's what he thought his dead sister wanted. Okay. I was a shitty brother. I know that. I can't change what I did. What I didn't do. Did your only Giovanni 420 me. Undertale fans confronting Fox? Can't that be enough? Joy? Toby. Toby isn't really the ideas guy. I bet she's gonna teleport. Whoa! What the fuck? Okay. Hello, Toby. No, <gasps> stay away from me. Stay away from me. That's beautiful. Like, there is genuine talents working on this, for sure. So, so sorry I'm late. Another client went over our time. Oh, you must be... Aurora, from the Barnavan. Aurora. <laughs> sorry. I had an image in my mind of what Barnavan as social worker would be. Cold, cryptic, ready to snatch your child because you sneezed funny? <laughs> Something like that. I know there are scary stories about us, but I find openness and kindness yield the best results. Anyone... Anyone getting kind of a vibe from these... from these two? You think maybe... Okay, let's see how it plays out. John, do you like her? Um, no, the... the she... Uh, she has she has a fringe, which is fine. 
Uh, but the button-up shirt is is too aggressive for me, so no. Now, can you talk to me about what happened when you lost track of your son? It's my fault. I turned around for a second and he was gone. The fog was really thick that day. There is an awful lot of fog in this town. I had some trouble with it myself today. What town? I'll consider what that town? in my report, but that's no excuse going forward. You need to keep a closer eye on your child. Now, about the person who reported the incident. They said you were hiding, away from the crowd. Why was that? Uh, obviously, that's ridiculous. I, w I was looking for him. By hiding? Well, no, I... May I meet him? Of course. This fucking dialogue, Orson? guys. Can you come here, Angel? It's nice to meet you, Orson. I'm Aurora. I... I... I lost my ball. Uh-oh. Well, where could it be? I gave it to Zane, but he lost it. That's his imaginary friend. Now I don't have anything to play with. Orson, you have plenty of toys. He really does. It's because I wanted to share with Zane. Well, that is a very nice thing to do. Orson, why don't you play close by while Aurora and I finish chatting? Obviously, the Bonavana takes child neglect seriously. But I'm not interested in removing a child unless absolutely necessary. I did not neglect my child. I'd like to set a few more meetings to confirm things have settled down for you two. Maybe you can start with a gesture to show that his needs are important to you. He mentioned wanting a new toy. He's always been drawn to my childhood dolls. My mother ridiculed him for it, but I suppose with her gone, there's no harm in it. He has to have some nice memories of her. Maybe a doll that helps him remember None of this is like making He's close with my sense. Father. Like, it's like they Maybe don't hear hunter. what the other one is saying. Though I never liked having him around guns, even toys. I understand you're a scientist. That's a wonderful thing for a child to aspire to. I try not to smother him with my influence. Bad memories from my mother. Oh, it never ends. I'll be in touch soon to set a follow-up. Until then. What a strange character. Like, this whole child neglect storyline, it's like... What what are we doing? Like this is so fucking weird. Good to be home, huh? So are we ever going to talk about what happened the other night? How did Toby know about the ritual? Mommy, mommy, you're home. Hi, sweetie. Ah, yes, the child I was adult. Today, but then I remember the girl in the stone castle. That's good, honey. Remember, the purifier keeps us safe. Really? Go get your PJs on. I'll be in soon. Okay. He begged me, Rach. He's in a really bad place. I and had look, to tell him something. That's exactly what makes him dangerous. I know he threw a firebomb at us, but Rach, he's been going through a really rough time. And look... If your if your friends can't occasionally hurl Molotov cocktails at you, then are they even your friends? It's interesting. He's taking advantage of you, Eric, playing off your empathy. He just seems so desperate. Wait, okay, is that what we're I doing? Thinking about when we all first met. Fingal, uh, Fingal lights. He has no joy now, and this woman is going to lose her faith. Brilliant. Man, how we were all friends. <laughs> Maybe a part of me was hoping we could go back to that. You know that's never going to happen. Yeah, I know. <sighs> I swear, one day you'll let someone pull on your heartstrings so hard they'll rip your whole heart out. <laughs> I need you to talk to Toby. About what? Get him to back down. Try to reason with him. Tell him he's going to end up hurting a lot of innocent people. With his Molotov cocktails. Don't try. Do it. People are depending on us. 
just call the fucking police? Oh my okay. god. And don't tell him any more stuff about us. About the Foundation. We can't trust him. There is some A-class creative characters. Finally writing that novel? Something like that. What the hell is this? My testimony. Gold Stras, I mean, you're in a cult. You're not really innocent anymore. Right the I, 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 I think, foundation. I think the the police Nobody would be more interested in Cerulli. the the FBI person hurling firebombs. Next one's on me. We need to talk. About what? How your wife's cult killed my sister? Or that crazy shit they conjured? I know you're in pain, man. But going after the Foundation isn't gonna bring your sister back. If you keep this up, more people are gonna get hurt. Innocent people. You think I care if anyone in the Foundation gets hurt? You want my little girl caught up in all this, Toby? You know... For a minute there, you had me going, Hernandez. But words are coming out of your mouth, and all I hear is Rachel. They're the words of someone who wants to protect his friend. If we were friends, you would have left the Foundation as soon as you found out they killed my sister! Come on, man. You know it's more complicated than that. Is it? Mm. Or is that what your bitch of a wife tells you while Whoa. she's got your balls in a vice? All this coming from the friend who played off my sympathy and begged me to betray my wife? Wake the fuck up, man! The Foundation's crazy shit is out now. I'm gonna make sure of it. And when things finally go down, I don't want you caught up in it. Yeah, thanks for the concern. I mean it, Eric. You gotta wake up, man. They're gonna get you and your kid killed. If you can't see that, I'll make you understand. Toby, Toby rules. One is overacting and you one is underacting. What? I want you to recruit Toby. <gasps> Into the Foundation? That's right. You want him here, after everything he did? Absolutely. What I want is for you to have faith in me. <sighs> what could I even say to convince the him? The scenes fade out so weirdly. It's because they to. don't write them in a way convince that like they the have can like natural conclusions. So they just kind of end. For him protection. He thinks we're the cause. Then use his paranoia to your advantage. Feed it. Show him we can wield more than just words. Wouldn't that just drive him away? He thinks you've wronged him. Maybe if you showed remorse for Joy's death, he'd be more amenable. <laughs> I don't know, Xavier. This doesn't feel right. I'm not asking. I'm telling you. It's so hard to even grasp like the specifics of what the characters okay. are talking about sometimes. Sure. Good. Don't mention this to Barbara. For now, at least. What now? She's getting good with guns. I, I like this girl. I, Ava, I think she's cool. This. Ava rules. If you won't do it, I'll teach myself. Ava, stop. You don't know what it's like to be scared all of the time. I do know. More than you think. I'll teach you. Now, take a deep breath. Good. Now exhale. Slow. Now go on and squeeze the trigger. Good. Good. The key is to aim for vital organs, like oh. the head or the heart. One shot, one kill. But that will take some practice. Can I go again? So, <laughs> it's good. I'm no, I'm no gunsman, but with guns, aren't you meant to, meant to aim for like center mass? Don't they like not recommend aiming for the head? Thing, mate. You should head home. Oh, and 
Don't tell your mother. Thank you. Yeah, center mass. Well, a lot of people in the chat have guns. Interesting. Oh, that was such a weird cut. Fall on Please, don't shoot. Meta? I'm, I'm sorry about the window. I thought you still had a spare key by there. Uh, could you... Oh. May I come in? Oh, yes. Of course. I'm sorry. I'm a bit out of sorts. Tell me everything. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Like, those... Wow. Tell me everything. Me Meta... Meta is gonna fuck, let me tell you. Uh... That was... I would say significantly worse than the first episode. I feel like a lot of effort went into parts of that first episode and like remember the animation we got at the start of the tentacles crawling down the woman's throat and how fucking crazy and rad that was. I felt like this episode there was a lot of characters and the animation was just kind of this like sort of you know it's like wow um I think this has the potential to deteriorate into an absolute fucking shit show, and I'm really excited for that. I can't wait. Um, yeah, it's over. It's over. We we might watch more in the future. It's kind of fun, but um, we will see. We will see. Um, okay, chat. I promised you guys a mystery box, and this will take a second or two to set up, and then we'll get going. Damn, John, with acting skills like that, how are you not casting the show? No idea, dude. It's it's unfair. It's unfair. Um, for those of you who are excited, the new the new episode is live in five hours and fifty five minutes. Okay, listen. Here's this choice: How will Astrid eulogize her mother? <laughs> Fun. Okay, so for the rest of this stream chat. We are going to play a demo of a new horror game that is out, and it is called... Excuse me, sir. Yeah, so this is by a girl called Molly Moon. Um, and Molly Moon is interesting, because she used to do these videos, right? And the whole thing behind them is it was her approaching you, and it's all from first person, like your first person. And... um. She'll come up and be like, excuse me, sir. And they would all start like that. And they were kind of interesting videos. Like, I thought they were kind of... Like, she's really good in them. Like, she's she's weird and unnerving and kind of cool. Um, But they were creepy, you know? Like, she she feels like something pretending to be human in a way that was kind of kind of rad, honestly. Um, But... Molly Moon started to blow up. I, 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 I'm an OG Molly fan. I've, I've followed her for a while. and um, But she started to blow up last year because she started changing her content to be like fake video game content. Um, and it was like basically turning those excuse me sir scenarios into like weird point and click adventures. Um, and I am really interested to see how it translates. Because this, I think this could be interesting. Okay. Um, if you are unfamiliar with this, my feeling is that you will get the point very quickly. Oh, it's kind of mid to be honest. We'll see. We'll see. See, this is in, like, TikTok format because all her shit is. My brother went missing a few days ago. I hope whoever lives here can help me find him. Oh, here somebody comes now. Hey, who are you? 
Can I use your phone? Have you seen my brother? Show flyer. I'll ask, have you seen my brother? He looks familiar. Let's go inside and ask my friend. Uh, okay. Let me tell them you're here. Meet yourself at home. Okay. Um... Oh, a screwdriver. Okay, we'll take that. So this is fuck. I don't know what you're talking about, chat. Okay, we got... Oh. We got, we got some... Okay, everything seems kind of normal to me. This all looks very normal. Okay. The door is locked. Ha! Huh. Well, that's clearly a good sign. Okay. Great. They're in the basement. Follow me. Okay. Go ahead. I'll meet you down there. You know, chat, I like to believe I'm someone with quite a strong survival instinct. I feel, um... I feel I know when danger is near, which is why I'm delighted to say that um, I feel no danger from this. Don't and I, worry, I... I'll call the sheriff. Oh, that's good. Oh, that music's kind of cool. This is fine. Greetings. We've been expecting you. Have you seen my brother? I don't believe I have. We could ask the other members if they have, though. Oh, that seems like a good idea. But first, we must pray. Follow me. Uh, sure. I love, I love praying. As our newest member, You'll have to perform the prayer. Uh, sure, but... Have you guys seen my brother? Trace the outline on the floor. Uh... So, this is- this is- this is cheating because I went to art college, and so my art skills are... perfect. Uh, as you guys can see. Um, this is fucking nothing to me. Uh, I am a superhuman at a mini game like this. Failure is impossible. Really, if anything, it's a combination of my art skills and my gamer skills. So, no one ever stood a chance, you know? Okay, maybe just get that little bit there. There we go. Oh, god damn it. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Good. Now, you'll need to make a sacrifice. Uh, okay. But if, if we could get to my, my brother soon. You idiot. You did it wrong. Uh, well, that's impossible, clearly, so... What's in here? Nothing, I guess. Uh. Hmm. Molly found you, ending two of three. Okay, let's retry. Just saying, I did get the screwdriver earlier. Is is that an option? Uh, this, is, 
This is so dumb, but I, I'm kind of into it. Ending two of three, Molly found you. God damn it. Um, kitchen, living room. Let's go here. Okay, that was too close. I need to find a way out of here. navigate this is not super it's quite hard to tell like oh oh you escaped ending three of three i see and i think that's that game and i think with that chat that is our stream. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good time and I love you all. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye guys.